Bike Radar can exclusively show the first pictures of what we believe to be Shimano's new Durace 12-speed group set. Fitted to at least two Team DSM bikes at the Balois Belgian Tour, key changes include a shift to 12-speed and an updated shifter profile. The overall aesthetic of the new group set is quite similar to R9100. However, the crank set is more angular, the front derailleur is smaller, and the rear derailleur is more slender overall. However, one key question remains unanswered. With a wire feeding into the frame from both the front and rear derailleur, it's impossible to know whether the group set is fully wireless, semi-wireless, or fully wired, as with Durace Di2 R9150. Team DSM, which was Team Sunweb prior to the 2021 season, has a long-standing relationship with Shimano, so it's not surprising to see the group set make its first debut in the wild on their bikes. Before we get into detail, here's a quick summary of what we can see in these photos shot exclusively for Bike Radar. First off, Shimano Durace has indeed gone 12-speed, following in the footsteps of SRAM and Campagnolo. The shifters have a new and possibly more aero profile as well as a textured grip. The crank set is more angular and features a dual-sided power meter. Will we see some tech from Pioneer ported over here? We're not sure yet. Shimano looks like it may be adopting the XTR MT900 rotors for the roadside, and we haven't seen a rim brake version of the group set yet. Finally, we don't know whether the group set is semi-wireless or fully wired, but we can probably assume it's not fully wireless. The appearance of the new group set, which will almost certainly be called Dura-Ace R9200, suggests its release is imminent. The shifters are notably different to the current generation of Dura-Ace. Where previously the whole front of each lever was on show, now everything above the pivot is hidden behind a shroud, perhaps in search of aero gains. The shape of the levers is similar to before, but they seem offset from the bar rather than simply flaring outwards. The hoods have also adopted a raised textured grip. This is not dissimilar to that you see on the GRX gravel group set from Shimano, though the profile is less pronounced here. For the pixel peepers among you, you will note that Team DSM has tried to scratch out the Durace logo from the outside face of the hoods. However, the overall outline of the logo is still visible, confirming this is a Dura Ace product. Logos elsewhere on the bike have been obscured by black tape. The shift paddles, which appear to be larger than the current generation, have also adopted a raised, kind of ridged rubber grip, moving away from the dimples seen on the previous generation group set. The shaping of the crank set is quite different to R9100. Shimano has stuck with a forearm design, but the overall look of the crank set is more angular. There are raised sections above and below the Durace logo, or rather, where the Durace logo should be, and there's a bevel around the whole edge of the crank set. The chain rings on this crank set are not as neatly integrated into the crank set as with the previous generation, leading some on the bike radar team to speculate these may not be a production version. In fact, the pictured chain rings have more than a passing resemblance to third-party chain rings from the likes of TA Specialities. However, we cannot say for certain at this stage. The crank set is also equipped with a dual-sided power meter. Given Shimano's acquisition of Pioneer in early 2020, It'll be really interesting to see what, if any, tech has been ported over from that acquisition. The direct mount rear derailleur is similar in style to the R9150 Di2 rear derailleur, but is more angular and slender overall. The front derailleur also looks like it might be quite a bit smaller 
than the current generation group set. The cage of the rear derailleur also appears to be considerably longer than any current Dura-Ace rear derailleur. This suggests a medium cage rear derailleur, which is called a GS rear derailleur in Shimano's lingo, could be on the cards. This would be a first for modern era Dura-Ace. Currently, there is only a short cage version of the rear derailleur available, meaning cassettes max out at 30 teeth. With what appears to be a medium cage derailleur in the wild, could this mean Shimano will now offer larger cassettes at a Dura-Ace level? Following both SRAM and Campagnolo, the group set has indeed gone 12-speed. We cannot tell the tooth count of the cassette from the photos, nor can we tell if the bike is using a new chain. However, it's not unfeasible to think that there will be at least some cross-compatibility between Shimano's 12-speed mountain bike and 12-speed road components. Currently, chains are shared across all 11-speed road, mountain bike, and gravel group sets, so we could possibly see the same here. The bike is fitted with a pair of XDR MT900 rotors. It has been widely publicized that pro teams have been using these for some time. Many had speculated this was to reduce weight compared to the Dura-Ace RT900 rotors. However, their appearance here suggests Shimano may be officially adopting these on the roadside. On that note, so far we have only seen a disc brake version of the group set. Unless Team Ineos Grenadiers, which is currently the only World Tour team that is still using rim brakes, is seen using the bike on the also unreleased Dogma F14, we will not be able to confirm whether or not there will be a rim brake Dura-Ace group set. If the new Dura-Ace group set didn't have rim brakes, would that be a deal breaker for you? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Don't get too angry. The bike is fitted with a pair of unbranded mid-depth tubular wheels. These are almost certainly the same wheels that were ridden by a number of different teams in the 2020 Tour de France. It's interesting to note that these wheels were being used with the 11-speed Dura-Ace R9100 group set, which has a minimum 11-tooth cog. Given Shimano's wheels typically don't have swappable free hubs, it's not unfeasible to think that the new group set will not adopt a 10-tooth minimum cog, as we have seen with all of SRAM's 12-speed road group sets. Would having a 10-tooth cog be a deal breaker for you? Again, leave your thoughts in the comments. Will Shimano Dura-Ace R9200 go wireless? We simply don't know. As discussed at great length, one of the big questions about the new Dura-Ace group set is whether the group set would go fully wireless or, as recent patent filings suggest, whether it would go for a semi-wireless layout. Shimano's patents definitely appear to point to the latter, and given the presence of a wire coming from both the front and rear derailleurs into the frame, this option seems more likely. It's possible the levers are not physically connected to the rest of the system. Shimano's patents suggest the use of a wireless receiver in the seat tube could allow the shifters to communicate with the rest of the system, but we simply cannot tell at this stage. If you were hoping for a radical new look for Dura-Ace R9200, it looks like you are going to be disappointed. The colour scheme doesn't appear to deviate from the black and grey tones of R9100, with overall a very similar shiny finish. We had wondered whether Shimano would throw in some beautiful polished silver accents as seen with R9000, which is without doubt one of the best looking group sets of all time, but there's no suggestion of that here. As mentioned, the derailleurs have slimmed down significantly, and the crankset is more angular with a flatter outward face 
and sharper lines compared to R9100. Finally, for the sake of completeness, the pedals fitted to this bike are the existing R9100 pedals, so we don't know whether there's a new pedal system on the horizon. That is all we have for now. If you head over to bikeradar.com, we have got this full story on this exclusive scoop for Bike Radar. And you can read all of our previous speculation about what we could be expecting with this new group set. Of course, I am but one man, and what I think of this shiny new group set needn't matter because it is you, our beloved, beautiful audience, who will be the true judges of Shimano's new Durious group set. So don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments and any questions, which I will do my absolute best to answer. Finally, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that little bell icon so every time we upload a juicy scoop like this, you'll be the first to get a notification.